by popular request, here is um, this week's video, I guess. Some of you might be wondering why am I doing xylenes from Goof Off, and this is because I actually already did the methyl acetate um, off camera, so yeah. Anyways, um, this Goof Off contains xylene and acetone, as you can see. And the um, first step in extracting is um, trying to get the damn cap off. Anyways, you can see the liquid is a clear um, liquid, so um, yeah, it's pure, I guess. So um, add it to an equal amount of water, and you can see the xylene is crashing out immediately. This is because xylene is insoluble in water, and it's also not miscible. However, acetone is, so by adding it to an equal amount of water, we can separate them. And as you can see, adding more water does nothing, so we've already um, separated the acetone out. And uh, you can also rinse out the can if you want, but it's sort of pointless, to be honest. Anyways, um, and um, add it to a separatory funnel. Um, well, I'm using an addition funnel, but same thing, basically. And um, separate it off, and the xylene is the top layer, and the water and acetone is the lower layer. You can recover the acetone if you want, but it's sort of pointless, to be honest. So, um, yeah, uh, my separatory funnel is also not large enough, but so I had to do it multiple times. Now you're left with the crude xylenes, which you can dry using um, a drying agent such as magnesium sulfate. You can also use calcium chloride, however calcium chloride is sort of bad for this, I guess. So after it's thoroughly dried, simply just filter off the drying agent. And you can see that um, we have a decent recovery of 64 milliliters or so. And you can distill this if you want, however, for my purposes, I don't really have to. It's just solvent, so yeah, I'll just add it to a bottle. However, it might be worth distilling because it might contain ethyl benzene contamination. And um, I'm not sure if you can separate that by fractional distillation, but I don't know. I haven't tried it because I don't have a small enough flask for this. So um, as you can see, it's not really flammable by itself. You can hold a flame to it and it ignites and goes out again. So um, this sort of indicates it is something flammable. However, we can test this further by soaking it onto a wick like the paper. And as you can see, it burns with that nice aromatic flame with a lot of soot, which is, um, yeah, uh, shows the presence of something aromatic. So this is definitely xylene and not just acetone, which um, it wouldn't be anyway. So, um, yeah, that's it.